Hey, it's Kari. Welcome back to Misery. Yeah. We just found the hammer. Uh, so yeah, our goal is now is to forge. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, or the last few episodes, I've been spending quite a lot of time walking around trying to find the hammer. And then I remembered that I did find it. Uh, I just found it and then decided to leave it here while I went to Milton and then uh, came back via FM and went to go forge because that was like my long-term plan to do. Got to the forge and was really confused why I didn't have a hammer and was like, oh, okay, and I don't think I have a hacksaw either, so I don't really have any metal. So why did I think I was going to be able to forge? Very confused. Okay, I better go search for a hammer. Oh, I do have a hacksaw. Okay. Went around in a big loop trying to find a hammer. Decided I would come back here at the end of the last episode just to rest. It's the hammer. So now you're all caught up. Uh, it is an okay time of day. We could actually travel. What I would like to do though is instead of going straight to the forge, I think I decided this was my base. We can get rid of those. Um, or do I, oh no, I based in camp office, didn't I? Stuff in camp office. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this my base now, though. I love, I love, love, love trappers. So I'm definitely going to make this my base. So we're going to just uh, drop some stuff here so that um, I'm not so heavy because, as you're aware, Astrid is suffering, suffering the poor woman from all these terrible afflictions that are ruining her ability to move and carry stuff. And I think my lantern's full. And it's just depressing. So, um, I'm gonna get, are they gonna disappear? Oh, they're not. Oh, oh well, it's kind of annoying. They weigh something still. Anyway, uh, I've got a lot of torches. I'm fine with that. We could probably get rid of some cloth. Get paranoid with this difficulty about needing to have everything with me at all times. Okay. So, what are we at now? 30. What did that say? 32 out of 30. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we are getting quite tired, though. So our goal right now is just to go to... Um, I'm going to write a note. We're going to go to the... I want to go to the dam to get all the metal from the dam. But that's not going to help me forge, come all the way back here to forge. There's not a lot of other metal, though, that's near. Oh, I could go to the... No. That's just as far. I was going to say I could go to the triple trailers, but they're just as far, really. I want something kind of at this end that has metal. Does Camp Office have anything metal? No, the shelving's all wood, right? I think, yeah, I think the dam is really my best bet. I mean, it's not far. I do just going to have to backtrack again. I have a good supply of cattails. Um, I have a bedroll, right? Do I, have a be I do. I have a bedroll, so I can sleep in the dam um, anywhere anyway. And we'll get our stuff from Camp Office on the, w on the, um, the way. So, okay, that's the plan now. That's the plan. Probably going to be really cold, really slow. It's going to be frustrating, but we shall give it a whirl. It's a nice day. I don't think we have the bear. I think a couple of times we've been wandering through here and not seen him at all. So. Lantern is not quite full, but it's full enough. So yeah, if we go via camp office to pick up... Oh, no, let's do that on the way back. So. I'm already freezing. We can't really sprint. So you kind of just have to set her up to be always light, never needing to sprint. It, it's definitely a challenge. Oh, there's more birch. I do have two made birch buck teas in my inventory, so I figure if um, it starts to get crappy, I can drink those. Um, how are you? I hope you're going good this week. You're going good is really bad English. I hope you're doing well would be a correct thing to say. But, you know, sometimes going good sounds better. Com Double stick? Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm compelled to pick up every stick, even when it's actually going to be detrimental to me to just continue to pick up sticks. So...
what we're gonna try and do is go via the unnamed pond cabin warm up there and then continue on over the hill through the clear cut to the dam have i got birch saplings curing i think i do but have i got enough i think i might go grab this maple which is not here every time so i want to take advantage i'm gonna put that away while we're not in danger because i'm gonna waste all my matches I have this thing where I'm like, wait for the words to appear before you click. But sometimes even then, you just like, if you just click and you're like, oh, god damn. So we're going to want to have about 13 pieces of metal at least, because that gives you 10 arrows, the knife, and the hatchet. Um, so we need to make sure that um, we should easily get that in the dam within like the first room, but... You getting that screen tearing no it's just me um should be not hard oh something in my teeth hmm. my husband just made for dinner this thing that apparently is popular in hawaii where it's like a burger patty and gravy and onions and an egg on rice very nice the children not so thrilled but, you know, they're two and five, so they have uh, not quite uh, <laughs> the best tastes yet. Very filling, though, with that much protein. I'm getting my, my gains, guys. But, yeah. One of my favorite things we were discussing is, because uh, it reminded me a little bit of a trucker breakfast, which um don't know if it's called that everywhere, but a trucker breakfast, as I know it and as I like it, is um, steak and fries with gravy on top and then an egg it's amazing it's all my favorite things at once potato favorite thing steak other favorite thing gravy love it egg i mean i really like eggs but not a favorite thing but it's uh fabulous i had it for my birthday one year at a restaurant for lunch and i was just so freaking happy the joy that it brought me oh my god do we not have this bear either? Have I been here yet? I'm sure I'm sure I have. But very unlikely to me that I haven't been here. I'm gonna get a sprain. I normally sprint through this, but yeah, there we go. My mother-in-law is sending me a message. She probably wants to have a chat tomorrow in the morning, which is totally fine. She is in Scotland. Oh, he is there. Do you see him? I'm sure I just saw him. Yeah, there he is. Do you see him between the trees? Kind of like center of my screen. He's just moving. Um, she is in Scotland. Um, my husband is Scottish. So um, we talk to her every two or three weeks. Um, on FaceTime. Thanks to the beauty of the internet. There's more sappies down there. She's lovely. I have not been here, guys. Okay, cool. Should probably try and get a rabbit then, or two. And we have uh, moose markings, which is great, because we can come back here at some point. Polaroid. Um, and uh, get the moose. Nice little uh, warming up tactic is just to harvest something. Speeds the time a little bit. I was saying this on my last video, but my children are obsessed with Encanto. So um, they listen and watch a lot of Encanto. And um, I have We Don't Talk About Bruno in my head uh, pretty much most days. It's just there, just lingering. All right, we have a lot of cattails. So generally, I think the rule of thumb is that you eat, you could eat six cattails before bed, starve for all day, eat six cattails um, before bed, and then um, survive. So I have 40. 
I haven't been starving her though because I really need the well fed to keep the um the carry capacity up. Ooh. And it makes it warmer, but I don't really want to travel in this. I don't really want to go over that hill and straight into the bear or go straight into the moose or I could try and get the bunnies now though. And try and get those saplings if the moose isn't here. I'll hear him probably before I see him. I doubt he's just spawned though for me having a two hour nap, but you never know. The bunnies seem to have split. Oh, is it clearing up? Okay. How heavy am I now? 33. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I mean, I could get the meat off this deer. Now there's a bunny over there. How rude. He was just, like, hiding. 0.7. I mean, it's a little bit of calories. And we are getting into night, so yeah, I think it's not the worst idea. Probably use this fire striker, and um, I think it's probably dead soon. I love how it offers me the magalines right now. Come on, little fire. Yay. Now, is it going to be warm enough, though? That's the problem. I have three coal. Okay. We'll try the fur and the reclaimed. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Can't remember how much the fur gives. I think it's six? Five or six? And three each reclaimed. So now we might just make it, actually. Nearly. Okay, let's add sticks until it's warm enough. It's way too much fire time, but... Hacksaw. <laughs> the poor deer. <laughs> Suppose if the weather stays appropriate, though, we could get all of the things from this deer, and that would be very handy for us. Go get these, um maples too we could drop them all overnight now this tree straight ahead that's kind of pointing out of the hill that's a good one for the moose by the way if you run up this hill and then run along the tree cacaw cacaw How's my water? Hmm. I could try and get that rabbit. Rabbits, plinkety, plinkety, plink. Always in my head whenever I think about rabbits in this game. It is a Tori Amos song called Hello, Mr. Zebra. Oh no, just I think it's just called Mr. Zebra. Um she starts the live version by going rabbits plinkety plinkety plink and every single time i go to stone bunnies in this game it comes into my head and i always think no one's gonna know that reference probably it's a bit of a random reference because even if you're a tori amos fan you may not love or remember that oh i don't like that i don't like it i don't like it we're about to sleep so i don't feel too bad sprinting I might drink our birch before bed. Drop the rabbit for now. Now, have I got enough birch to make another one? I do. Fantastic.
Yay. Six minutes. It's not gonna boil away in six minutes. I love how you see the colour change to it being um boiled. Might add a few more sticks because the, it's obviously gotten colder. Because I'm only just getting warm and I'd like to be like warming up faster. Might as well keep going. Right, so I've got 18 minutes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm picky. <laughs> An hour, it's longer. I always forget it's longer with the hacksaw. Oh, the, both the bunny and the deer are both, like, long with the hacksaw. I mean, I could probably do... Yeah. There we go. I might add the porridge while I get, um... The, um, meat or, or something off either of them. Maybe the hide off the deer. Got loads of time on the fire. If we go full blizzard, we just have to, like, turn... The opposite way of the fire and run. So let's get the hide with our bare hands. With our bare hands. Same sort of deal. Okay, I can take the bunny with me and harvest it inside, though. I can't harvest the the deer. An hour. Ugh. I wonder if I just want to do it. Because I can cancel, right? If it goes to shit. I don't think I've ever cancelled harvesting a hide. But I can. I can. <laughs> we could put the pot back down, actually, and get full a full cook of water. Just hope that the weather doesn't turn to hell. Nice. Okay, so the risk we've got now is wolves and... Um... Drop them. Wolves and the bear coming over the hill if their detection range has been upped in misery. I think it has. So we'll just be very careful. I don't like the black smoke above them. We'll wait these 32 minutes. Nothing to harvest. Oh, that's right. Oh, I don't think I've ever picked it up. I, I clicked it when it's I've got everything. I guess we do that. Ah. Okay. In the water. Can get so many freaking torches, guys. I'm gonna get five. I have to limit myself sometimes. And they're going to be amazing. Mm. I broke the rule. Nope. Amazing torches. Amazing torches only. Amazing torches only. <laughs> better. Like a third of the bar or better, yeah. What we could do is just take all the torches and anything lower than a third of the bar we throw away. Ooh. They're all, like... I keep hearing sounds, and it's like... 24, that's crazy. Um, it's the sounds, the ambient sounds they add into the game at night time, but I keep thinking something's after me, so let's just go inside ASAP. We can harvest our, the rest of our rabbit by hand, drop the, the maple, drop everything we've got off the deer and the bunny. Can't get that bunny because I would need to drop my torch and it would freak him out too much. I'm just going to scare him. Sorry, bud. Now I need to figure out what coal, the coal situation is. I'm assuming, I remember leaving a bunch at FM. Um, 
So I need to make sure I don't use my coal if I can help it. I'd rather make those crazy long fires, like I just did, um, and use all of these sticks that I've been picking up, than um, potentially not have the coal supplies I need for everything. So there's definitely nothing metal in here, right? They don't let you harvest coat hangers or anything. <laughs> all right, Astrid by Bastard. Let's give you uh, a little harvest session. Then you'll have your porridge and your birch tea and go to sleep. Gross, the sounds are just so bad. Suppose I don't want the hacksaw to die, do I? What do you need? You need tools, don't you? Tools, tools and a metal to repair a hacksaw. I just don't do it very often. Right, so we're going to drop the deer hide, all of the guts, the rabbit hide, and the sappies. Yay, I remembered to drop things for once, guys. Are you proud? I didn't just go to sleep. I wonder if I should do both teas because they stack. Maybe I should just do the one. Try and get my condition right up, but I might want it later. I thought I had three. Did I not pick them all up? I just made a third one. Did I leave it behind? I might have. Okay. We'll just drink the one then and let's uh, sleep till the Morgan. Oh, I didn't fully hydrate after that. I'm going to be um, in the red a little bit. Ooh. Chomp chomp. So I will leave the guts here. I don't want to be traveling with them. I might leave everything here actually because I can come by here later so we've got three maple uh seven, three maple what am i doing enter uh one times bunny hide boonie hide two three times guts one times deer hide all right I'm hoping when they do the base customization, we've all been talking about this on um, Twitch and stuff among friends, and um, the base customization, one of the main things I want is to be able to take dead bodies out of everywhere. I don't want to sleep with dead bodies. Okay, still no moose. Good. Let's just check that fire, because I think I left my birch by it. We're going this way anyway. Oh, it's still early morning. We're going to be very cold. Are they? Hmm. That deer should be gone. Yeah, it is. So what are they cocoring over? The dead guy? And they might be... Are they traveling? Anyway. Yeah, I did. Look. Oopsie. <laughs> Is there a... Sometimes there's a dead guy here, but it's normally on the lower difficulties when he's got a bow or a backpack next to him. They're just so loud. Anyway. We could go up to the abandoned uh, tower. I just barely ever go up there. Could do that. While I'm here. I don't like the markings for the moose being all the way up the hill too, because that makes me be like, is it sometimes over this side and is he going to get me? I don't want to be moose stomped. Imagine having misery and broken ribs. Screw that. <laughs> no thank you. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a little bit of damage here, Astrid, because we're going to go up the top here and have a look. I always take the same routes everywhere I travel in this game. I'm very predictable. My kids were very excited tonight because they have new toothbrushes. 
and my son has his first electric toothbrush. It's one of those disposable ones. It's not one you can change the head on, but I got him a a electric toothbrush, and he thought it was very funny the way it felt in his mouth. But it meant that he br brushed his teeth for longer, and he was more into it. And then I got my daughter a um, a new one as well, just a normal toothbrush. But she was very happy because it had bluey on it. They both love bluey. Sometimes a backpack here is in there from the guy who fell. No. Nope. I'm going to light this just to um, give myself three extra degrees. And because I'm planning on doing a fire when I get up the top. I really don't think it's... Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> it really means nothing. And I have 24 torches and I need to start probably just... I, I cannot bear to drop them. So they will be used. Sometimes I store them in bases. So I've got a torch supply. But I generally um, just keep all my torches and use them. Which is why uh, some people call uh, co a koru of torches when you carry more than 17 torches. Because that became the silly arbitrary number that I assigned to how many torches I want to carry. Let's just see if there's anything up here. Obviously there's a dead body, but I can't remember if there's a deer up here. If there is, I could try and do another fire and get some more deer meat. Just save these cattails as long as I possibly can, basically. There's usually a dead guy around here somewhere. Aha, there is. Can I have your feathers, please? Also be good to warm up tea, so yeah, I think I'll do the fire by the deer and just hope that it doesn't, uh, the weather doesn't change too much. I'll take it. Uh, I will deploy that rope over here. I don't want to die though, so let's do the fire first. I will, uh, the time elapsing while you do things like deploy ropes is a condition hit that I don't want to take. <laughs> Come on, little fire. <laughs> Got a very heavy rope on your Astrid, which I'm hoping to get rid of shortly. Okay, so we need to get 27 degrees. So we're going to throw three, seven, I think. Should that go up to minus 20? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, that wood does way more than I thought. Another one then. And then a whole lot of sticks. Teas. These are tiny, aren't they? Yeah. Might be able to make a um, rose hip, though. Oh, I'm not using my, my coal. Four hour fire. Let's make a rose hip. Mm -hmm. We're going to get whatever's on this deer, even if it's the tiniest amount. Oh, it's decent. I'm so happy. Might go get the unclaimed wood that's under the um, tower thing over there. And um, add that on to get a little extra warmth. There's water over here. Gun book. Message. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even want to be away from the fire for long. More feathers. Thanks, crows. <laughs> My brain broke for a second there. I was like, what was I doing? 
I uh, don't know if I want to risk that right now. I'll leave that till later. Alright, let's get a little bit more off. The last little bit. We're not warming up, which is annoying. I really don't want to use that coal though. I kind of probably should. Just to get really warm, then I could have a nap next to this. If it stays, you know, okay. The weather's been surprisingly cooperative. Touch wood. That's my uh, clothing. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. I don't really want to get anything else off that deer right now, though I could get the hide while I'm waiting for stuff. It's 40 minutes though, isn't it? Will it burn if it's got 16? Hmm, I'm paranoid now. Again, another really long fire, so let's just get two hour water off it. And yeah, while we're waiting for that, I can now get it. Probably won't get the guts. Don't have the time to waste, but also don't um, want to be stinky. And have to backtrack to drop anything. Okay, it must be warming up. Yeah, the day must be warming up because I'm warming up quite fast. I'm going to... Um, just cook this. What if I do a little nap? Bit of a risk. Five liters of water is too much too, but... We just throw an hour in. Just to get, like, a decent warm-up. Then I could drink one of those birch so that when I'm traveling, I'm warm and I'm... Yeah, there we go. That was worth the risk, I think. It's foggy again. Okay, I've got an insane amount of torches still, right? Yeah. So let's get rid of anything under 35. And see if we can grab a couple of midway torches, which is exactly what I just got. Wow. Two in a row. Wow. Okay, three in a row. Nuts. Um, I'm kind of tempted to see if I can get four. Oh my god, what's with this fire? Right, am I still warm here? No. Oh man. I wanna, okay, well I'm gonna drop this rope then. So if I even need it, I've got it here. I'm not gonna be likely to want to climb up here anyway. Wow, okay. This is this just like a magic fire? No, okay. <laughs> that answers my question. All right, we should be good to get to the, um... I'm so speedy. Uh, to the, towards the dam as much as we can. Hope I didn't miss anything else up there, but... I'm only two down, which is great. This fog is very helpful. Uh, the main problem we're going to have is walking into a bear. So... We need to try and not do that. Because I can't really run away from it. And at the moment, I can't really shoot at it. So. Gonna get our way to the triple trailers. Will be our next stop off point. And that'll probably be my save for this episode. So I'm gonna turn everything up. Just crank my uh my my feedback on my microphone so that I can hear. Hopefully, if a bear is nearby.
I'm gonna find like the sweet spot so that I don't um get a sprain. <laughs> Where'd it go? Huh? Huh? It's in the snow. It's in the snow. Oh my gosh, I almost lost it. I was like, what? The game's like, you're not supposed to be walking on this. I'm not giving you that torch. It was just a wrist, right? I don't have a weapon right now anyway, but... Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I'll just drink it. Get the pain, but also the heat. I was going to do a tiny tea out of it, but I don't get healed if I cancel, I don't think. I generally find being up here the safest option. I'm um, above the path, especially in the fog. The wolves still obviously come up here, but the bear... He's, he's not going to be around, but, um, you know, if that initial stage of the bear was around here, I'm, I'm high enough above him that he doesn't get me. Definitely wolves down here, obviously. Not cold, which is great. The teas are... Oh. What is he doing? Are they all going to try and path around that way? They sound like they're behind me throwing me off. Jeez Louise. That is stressful. Ah. Okay, they're running the way I don't want them to. Love how I was like, I'm safer if I stay up here. But yeah, they basically act like stalker wolves when you're stinky. Like, they're just on you. So, we're safe now. Just get inside. Ah! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I hit the three key there um, instead of the two. Well, I kind of hit the three and the two, so I was like expecting the fire making symbol to come up. Um, and I was like, oh god, he's going to get me. But luckily, it, I must have kind of also hit the two. So, anyway, thank you for watching this run of misery. We are on our way to the dam. I'm excited. We've now got. Um, I'm actually going to drop this hide as well while I remember. Uh, what am I doing? Inventory. <laughs> Um, we are going to, we're going to take that save actually, so I probably, oh I've been in here, okay. I probably should go out and in, let's start a new torch, and go out and in so I can immediately take off. Um, we're just going to really quickly do this too, um, next time, damn for metal. Heading to FM Forge eventually, because I doubt I'll do it next time either. But we'll give it a go. Um, I don't know if there's anything. There's freaking wolves. Anything metal in here I can grab, um, just casually either. Everything's wood. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, take care and um, join me for more adventures on Great Bear soon. All right, bye.